Hey, what are you doing here? Elizabeth had to work at the hospital late, so I volunteered to take care of this super special advanced screening. Ah, yeah, awesome. I too was privileged to procure a ticket. Um, I, you may be surprised, but I've been a lifelong comic book enthusiast. No kidding. And a huge Avengers fan. Me too, the Avengers rock. Right. Agreed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they are the truest of heroes that always bring the evildoers to justice. Do you have a favorite Avenger? The Hulk. Oh, I don't know. Iron Man's pretty cool too. He's the genius billionaire playboy. He gets to wear that really cool high-tech suit, fly around, save the world. And when he's not doing that, he's going to the coolest parties in exotic locales and enjoying himself. I'm not surprised that you were drawn to the shallowest of superheroes. Oh, come on. Tony Stark has faced down his demons. He is not looking down on the other heroes. He just doesn't take himself too seriously. Yeah, it just bugs me that some guys can avoid taking responsibility altogether by simply throwing out a witty one-liner. I, I commend your admiration for the Hulk. I like how he smashes things. Yeah, yeah, yeah me too. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, brute strength isn't enough to bring evildoers to justice. Sometimes you have to have true intelligence to unmask a villain, especially when they're in disguise. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, Memphis is... Hey, bud, you brought your headphones, right? Yes. Don't you rock out for a little bit? Spilly and I need to talk about something, okay? okay. All right, thanks, bud. Please tell me you are not still stuck on this notion that my brother somehow killed Niles and just blacked the whole thing out. Okay, well, all I'm saying is that it's possible for, for someone to commit a violent crime in the heat of the moment and, and then not... just completely forget about it. Take Bruce Banner as a case in oh, point. It's a comic book. It's finale. Okay, my brother did not bludgeon Lisa and then throw her overboard and then just block it out. I mean, mem memory is flawed. Imperfect. I mean, there are countless psychological studies of eyewitnesses recalling the very same event, but in markedly different ways. Yeah, when I was in med school, I had to take plenty of psych classes, and a lot of them spoke to subjective memory. My brother killing Lisa, it does not fit in that scenario. When was the last time you saw your brother that night? <sighs> in the boat salon. Okay. We, we, we had a disagreement. Okay, who initiated the hostilities. It wasn't hostilities. My brother and I just grate on each other every once in a while. In fact, that night he was being very nice. He was paying me a compliment, saying that I deserve the party. And I just shouldn't let things go to my head, which I took as an insult, or that he was saying I wasn't as good of a surgeon as he was, and the whole thing went downhill. Did it come to blows? No, it didn't come to blows. He said something snarky, and he walked off. It, it just so you know, he didn't have a wrench in his hand. But you, you, Stayed in the salon? Yeah. Yeah, I did. So I, uh, I wanted to be close to the champagne bottle. What can I say? No, Elizabeth came and uh, we talked. And I'm not telling you anything that I haven't already said a million times before. I, I don't know, maybe the change of environment will uh, stimulate your memory, help you recall details that you have, that have eluded you so far? Well, what do you, the details, what are you talking about? My brother, my brother is the suspect, not me. Okay, well, you, you said that you left the salon at some point, right, to go find Elizabeth? Did you see anyone? The whole thing, you know, it's a blur. I was, yes, calling for Elizabeth, trying to find her. Yeah, which which deck were you on? All of them, any of them, I, I don't know. Where, I don't were know. you ever on the deck where Lisa was murdered? Spinel, it doesn't matter how many times you ask me, how many different ways, I, I didn't see my brother kill Lisa because he didn't do it. Hey, uh, hey. it's open. Oh, thanks, bud. You're absolutely right. We're going right now. Let it go, Spinelli. I know you're trying to help Maxie. And I appreciate that. But you're, you're way off base here. I'm gonna find another suspect. All right, bud. Come on. Line's back here. Line's back here. I have another suspect, all right? You know, I would accuse you to your face, but I... I genuinely believe that you... Do not remember. But I can't stay silent and let Maxie descend herself to prison for a crime that she most certainly did not commit. Life is simpler in comic books. Sam keeps telling me. Hey, Spinelli. I thought you were going to stay to the end credits. Come on now. I'll do that on opening day. <laughs> okay, you're going to see this movie again, huh? Well, of course. I mean, a film can't be fully appreciated with a single viewing. You have to live with it a little, let it settle, and go back and see all the things that you couldn't take in the first time. It's like solving a mystery. Solving a mystery? Yeah. Some secrets 
can only be uncovered by repeat viewing. Well, you piece it together little by little until you find your answer. What answer? How good may triumph. How the innocent may go free. Why it's important to stand up for what you believe in. So you really enjoy the movie? Yes, indeed. And I've been inspired by the Avengers' good example to right a great wrong. I hope it all works out.